There is no meme. This is just a threat. Who needs a map? Alright, well, in hindsight, maybe having Soren try to fight the incredibly high resistance bishop? Not the smartest maneuver I've done in my life. Alright, now this is where this yellow one goes down. Oh my god! Okay, the fact that the knight was the enemy that finally hit the dude is hilarious to me. Slow-ass motherfucking knight is what... All right. Um... All right, who wants XP? Boyd. Kill. Kill. And you're dead. I wish I left Kieran and Oscar up there, but I, I had no idea that those dudes would show up. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Kieran can still... Yeah. Perfect. Ow. All right. Good job, Kieran. That mage is dead. The experience has been received. And the axe has leveled up. Perfect. That means that I can just start doing whatever the fuck I want. He can now use silver axes. Which is based. I do have to make sure I don't move racing into that range, though. Because whether I like it or not, that Blizzard dude will probably live. Which means I need to make sure that Rayson does not fucking die. That would be so sad. <laughs> Y'all are having a discussion about shitty FE6 units, I see. FE6 definitely has some stinkers. Um, I was about... You know, Soren... Thunder. Hello, everyone! Zap! Oh, this is a... Uh, motherfucking Zap! Excellent. No level up, though, which makes me sad. But this is life. We have to accept that sometimes life gives you shitty level ups. We don't have to like it, we just have to deal with it. Yeah, a lot of people are speculating that the next remake is either 6 or 4. A lot of people really want one for four. I kind of want six more. I think six stands to benefit more from a remake. Also, I feel like they're missing out on free money by not porting over the Roy game, you know? And at this point, I just want a new fucking game. It's- I think this is the longest drought between titles the series has ever had. Main series, at least. Am I right on that? Like, I think the gap between three houses and whatever comes next is the largest gap.
in the franchise. And honestly, if Echo's director does six, I would love it. I fucking love Echoes, one of my favorite games in the series. One of my favorite games, period, honestly. Um, who needs to move? Oscar? I guess Oscar can just be up there for support bonuses in case it's needed. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh no, this guy is smart enough. <laughs> oh my god, and this one's smart enough. Not strong enough, but smart enough. Why am I here? What? Why am I here? What is my purpose? I really have no reason to be here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? God bless this world and all the creatures in it. Alright. So, Raisin's maximum move. Alright, so... Ike... No, Ike is at Raisin's maximum move, right? Yeah, so... Like, right there. Um, and honestly, we don't necessarily need his maximum move. Uh, right there... And I guess right there? Not you. And then Racing will... Chant! Yeah, the yellow people have done more than us. It's kinda nutty. Attack, thunder. Yes. Let there be thunder and lightning. Die. And people say FE8 is the only game with summoners. Yes. Technically, Tanith is a summoner. Oh, now that was a good level up. Is this skill capped? Not quite, not quite. But lightning is before thunder. I'm just quoting a ninja sex party song, don't mind me. Was Makalov an int? No. He inted. I didn't know his range due to the fog of war and he ran up on Titania. And she fucking murdered him. <laughs> so... Yeah. That didn't quite work out. Um. Hmm. Are you able to kill this guy, Titania? I mean, you're almost able to kill him. That, that's something. Alright. Staff. Physic. We are healing this little dude. He will not die today. Um, let's put Boyd over there. I mean, 
And if nothing's stopping you from just... Yeah, killing. We'll let Tanith have a little bit of kills. As a treat. Alright. Unless they charge the boss. I don't think they're going to do that. I'm fairly sure they'll want to kill these guys more. Could be wrong on that, mind you. But I don't really think that's going to be their game plan. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just good to go. But who hasn't moved? I can just... Yeah, they're just gonna start... My God! Have... No, don't have mercy. Oh my... Which member of the FE8 cast is most likely to Fortnite dance on somebody? Weird question, but Ewan. Every time I look away, you're committing a first-degree murder. Ephraim? I don't think Ephraim. That was for Boyd. I can see Ford doing it. I can see Ford playing Fortnite, but I don't see him doing the deep. No, he would do it specifically to piss off Kyle. That's what he would do. Ross, any of the three kids. I feel like you and Ross and Amelia are Fortnite gamers. I feel like they're Fortnite gamers. Larchelle? Look, there are Larshell, if we're doing a modern AU thing, honestly, there are two ways Larshell can go. She's either never heard of a video game in her life, or she's a hardcore toxic gamer that says slurs to people in League of Legends all chat, and there is no in between. Yeah, this should work. Perfectly, actually. He just hit a 15%. Excuse me? Sir? Um... So we've established that stun doesn't actually triple damage in this game, right? So I'm good to do this. And this will be good. This is fine. Bye-bye, Shaharam. You were a good man. Fortunately, you're also made of experience. Yeah, that man did hit a 15 and a 41, didn't he? Yeah, you know, that was pretty king shit, I guess. Yeah, yeah true. Oh, you can attack through these little fence, fence posts. Huh. Alright. And three cheers for the king shit from Shaharan. Hitting the low percentages that he really shouldn't be. Alright. Uh... Well, there is literally just one more dude on the map, so... There we go! The power of the yellows. God. That was... That was something. 
Oh. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, Reese really doesn't need experience, so let's just... We did it! And by we, I mean the Yellow Knights! Good God. That was incredible. And there we go. Okay. Award XP, anyone I can just kind of top off? Kira! Alright, sure. More skill, more guard procs. And then... We just keep with this. Now, I technically don't need to level anyone. Like, I don't need to level her up again. I could just use a uh, Master Crown. And with a promotion to Valkyrie, that would be... I think 10 magic, so 30 health off of a... Heal. I think I can keep going with Mist, is what I'm trying to get to. I'll probably end up using a Master Crown on her. Yeah, well, with level up like that, what the fuck's the point? Okay. Another level up for Mist. And alright. Now, anyone here I can top off? Yeah. Outfit. Kieran. Trade. Oscar. Alright, Oscar. Leafs. Yeah, um, Oscar. Please. Get speed. For the love of God. Alright, there we go. That was a good level up. Alright. Uh, anyone else here need to get... No, I don't really have the XP to top anyone else off. I mean, racing, I guess, but he doesn't really need it. Alright, so looking at our things... Um... Take an Armor Slayer. You're good. Now, you need another bow. Armory. Only have steel bows. Because, of course. Give the Elwind. And shop. Forge. We will forge another special tome. This one being Thunder again as a base? Hey, let's go Thunder again, just because it can give us the most magic, most hit. We gotta lower the weight by one so that Soren's noodle arms can wield it. Alright. First mage I can think of that isn't from Fire Emblem. And it was Celeste from Final Fantasy VI. It's just who popped into my head. Fortunately, I can't... Oh, wait, don't... Do you still have an iron bow? You do! Perfect. Oh, boy, take... You can get the killer bow and a legu bow. No, oh, yeah, I have the kill. That's fine. Oh, yeah, you should... You can also take a legu slayer. Don't I... Oh, no, Zahark has it. Right, right, Zahark has it. Zahark, Zahark, Zahark. We'll take that racism sword off for you. Anyone else here need more stuff? Sure. Yeah, you. Give the mend. Take another mend. Sure. Um, give ward. Take, take that silence. That, that's going to be a surprise tool that will help us very soon. Um, do you have enough strength? Yeah, you have enough strength to not get weighed down by that. Uh, steel lance? Sure. Oh yeah, while you're at it, take take a healing item. Yeah, vulnerary. Anyone else around here in desperate need of an item? Not really. Skills. Boyd, 
You get Smite because you're the most likely to be able to use it because of your absolute girth. Those two can max out their support. This can go up to B at least. Yep. I mean, I guess there's no harm in this. There we go. All right. Info. Not a whole lot to do. Let us save our game! You guys have been having this intense discussion about pro gamer Fire Emblem characters. I like it. Good for you guys. Alright. And here we go. The reason I want the silence is specifically for that fucker. So nine, like one, two, three, four, five, like, fuck, dude. Fuck that guy. All right, so there's two things right there. Teronio is still over there. Um, very important. Didn't he have the speed? No, it's Bryce that has the speed wings, not, um, random dude. All right. Um... Let's honestly start with these folks on the front lines. Alright. Choose units. Who do I not really need here? Well, I want everyone. Um, let's have... Let's have Astrid take a back seat. Or oh, where is he? Where the fuck is he? There he is, Volk. Because he's needed. Steel Lance, Steel Lance, Steel. Now, all those Lances. Let's see, defensive 13. Do any of you scare him? I mean, maybe if every single one of you hits him? With an avoid of 39 plus. Yeah, nope. Ah, that's fine. Alright. Let's save up. And before we continue... Bam! I'm back. Let us commence 
with the battle. Right, what, what was the most recent question asked by chat? Oh, a bot! Now oh, the bot's already far enough. The bot snuck up while I was using the bathroom. That clever girl. Your skill is impressive. However, my ability to click some buttons is unparalleled. The AI is getting too smart. No, I got it. Thank you, though. Okay, so... Let's just make sure that no one who can get hurt by that gets hurt by that. And there's Ike. Adios. Oh, bye, Urban. Thanks for coming to the stream. Always appreciated. Ooh. Get him closer to the action. Oh, yeah, I guess I probably should have reinforced there, huh? Whoops. My bad. Woo! Woohoo! You know, I thought... I was pretty sure that Boyd would be fine. But what if he does just get hit by everything? <laughs> what if he does just get absolutely fucked? Alright, well... Off to a good start. Okay, yeah, no. I don't have good luck, but I don't have that bad of luck. Level up for the ye olden Boyd. You know what? More skill. I'll take that. More skill is good for Boyd. Rock on, warrior man. Oh no, a ranged attack. Wow, he dodged everything. I'm actually really impressed. Oh wait, there's one more dude. He's gonna get hit by this and it is my fault. Wow. All right, there you go. Boyd, he's doing it. Right, um... Yeah, let's just dance for this man. Cheer, cheer him on. Volk likes the words of encouragement. Grayson likes a good level up. Huh? Magic and luck, sure. Well, I'll take it. Open the door. Stop having it be closed. Um, I guess Boyd can just go up and kill that. Oh no, you can. Maybe not all at once, but, you know, enough. You think Rayson would play Duke Nukem? I... Elaborate on that. <laughs> Explain to me your meme, young man. Level 5. No, I do want Tormod to be able to get some level ups. He hasn't really been able to. F 
fuck, I, I should have reinforced again. Now oh, we'll be fine. He's got a lot of pent-up rage. You know what? I'll believe it. That is fair. Nina would play all the Yaoi games, and she would be a hardcore Naruto Sasuke shipper. Okay. Do I just, like, keep moving forward with Boyd? Is that just what a man does? I mean... And it's working. Nina will play Kingdom Hearts for the wrong re- I didn't even think about Riku Sora. I guess, is Riku Sora just video gamers Naruto Sasuke? Is that what that is? I've never seen Naruto, so I can't really speak for sure. But I do like Kingdom Hearts. I can't believe we're getting Kingdom Hearts Force. I can't believe it's real! Like... I knew, like, Kingdom Hearts 4 was going to happen. But something about it existing... It's just not correct to me. But I'm so happy it is. Oh no! The Longbow! Who played a funny astronaut game? I feel like... The Magvelin Royals would, and it'd be really sweet. Like... Leon would be the worst fucking imposter imaginable. But no one would actually rightfully declare him as one, because they don't want him to feel bad. Okay. Oh. Alright. Alright, Volk. Got yourself the best knife in the game, sure. I mean, I guess Kieran goes up here? Sure. Joshua will be gotcha addicted. Maybe not gotcha, but definitely a game with a loot box feature. He would defend loot boxes as fun. And you're dead. Goodbye. Oh, God damn it. Cock tease. Tease. Okay. So next up on the list of things to kill. Alright, Ike. Yes. And getting a wee little bit of leveling. Sword weapon level has increased. Wonderful. Yeah, that, that would do it. Ryoma and Xander would be Samurai Showdown Soul Calibur elitists, respectively. That. That's funny. I like that. Right. You are dead. Not big surprise. Boyd is kind of just putting the team on his back right now. 
That would be... And it's, it's pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Um... Hmm. I guess Stefan going this way... Racing next to Ike. Okay. Reinforce. And then wait. Racing. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can't chant from there for some stupid fucking reason. Yes, it is indeed Toronio time. Tanith. Die! Well, no, no, not Tanith die, but, but the other dude, the shitty sage. He will perish. Alright. I haven't wanted to say it, but, like, even on hard mode, this game is not that. Like, it's kind of crazy. That's why when people say P Sacred Stones is the easiest in the series, I really don't know what they're talking about. Granted, yes. It's definitely an easy game. But it is definitely not the easiest in the series when this game exists. Not quite able to reach that bishop. Right, I'll be fine, though. Partner phase, they're they're flying. Right. Oh shoot, Tan's still in range of that. Whoops a doodle. Like that won't actually matter, but oopsie. And you're going after Tormod. Um, Seth, Seth doesn't really, most playthroughs, he doesn't really fall off. Like, his lone weakness, really, is that base 30 HP on a pre-promoted frontline fighter isn't the best. But his growth in it's a fucking 90%. Okay... But yeah. Like, the only thing Seth can't really fight is Leon. On hard mode. Which, to be fair, there are very few units in your army that can survive Leon. 55 magic. Fucking a really good hit rate on that 55 magic. Virtually nothing survives Leon. Ooh, level up! Alright, Boyd, what do you got? That is the most Boyd level up to have ever Boyded. But that is fine. Y'all ever think about how Leon might actually be, or probably would actually be, one of, if not the hardest bosses in all of Fire Emblem? If Naglfar didn't weigh 30 fucking tons. Like. Who? 55. Magic damage. First of all. What the fuck in your army is surviving 55 magic damage? Just as it is. I don't think any unit in the game can survive that at base. Except maybe Dussel? I'm not actually sure on that one. What's worse, Leon with Nagafar or Lin with Solkati? Oh, definitely Lin. Because at the very least, 
Leon won't double anything. He'll get doubled by everything. But at the very least, he's hitting you hard that one time. He would hit you really hard once. It's just when you get to after that, that problems start to happen. Jesus Christ. I need to get started on the Leon video. I'm just, like, trying to think of the points I want to bring up. Because when I do my videos... There's always, like, a point. I don't just say, this character's good. I want to bring something to the discussion table that hasn't been brought there before. Now, are you able to silence that guy? Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, um... Let's... Like, no one's gonna be in range of you. Alright, let's... Let us cautiously move Boyd. Do you have a vulnerary on you? Yeah, you do. Let us cautiously, cautiously move Boyd up to there. What the fuck was I talking about? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, for example, with the more recent one, with the Lewin video, I wanted to bring up the Kaga interview that not everyone might know about. I wanted to bring up, um, uh, the disparity in his conversations, because not everyone's seen every Lewin conversation, and I wanted to bring that up. With Leon, there are a few points I want to bring up. Um, one is I think he serves as a very good parallel to Erica and Ephraim, specifically Erica, because, I don't know, spoilers for FE8. Um... The thing with Leon is the straw that broke his back was his father's death. He already had low self-esteem, but what put him over the tipping point was the death of Vergard. He heard of his father's death, and the first thing wasn't, what do I do now? His first thing was, I can't live without him, I need him back. And then think about what happened with Erica. What was the first thing that happened when Erica learned her father was dead? She went... I gotta fucking... I gotta fucking, uh... I have to... I'm trying to collect my thoughts here. I have to... God damn, why can't I not think? I have to go save my brother. Erica was immediately more worried about what she had to do. Like... That was her concern. Not... Oh man, my dad's dead, I'm sad. It's, there are things I need to do. I can't sit around and grieve. And she does, she is sad about it. I don't think, I don't know if many people have noticed that, know about this, because it's a, I don't know how many people might necessarily support Larchelle with Erica. But, hmm. Ooh, blah, With, with, um, Trying to figure. With her support with Larchelle, Erica remarks that she misses her father, and honestly, she would not care if he was a coward. She doesn't, she would not care if Fado just left and was a little bitch baby. Oh, you also had sleep? Wait a minute, I thought, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's not good. And that is a point to bring up about Leon, that he only had Regard. But here's the thing, even if Regard was his only family, he had other people in his life that loved and cared about him. Noel was right there. So like, yes, Leon didn't have any more family, but they were definitely people he could have relied on. In fact, he directly ignores Noel when Noel tells him, Hey, yo, bruh, I don't think this Satan shit's gonna work out. Leon doesn't care. He, like, intentionally disregards 
what Noel is trying to tell him. And I think that is significant. Okay, so... Fuck, this was my own fault for not looking at you. I thought you just... Yeah, okay. How well does this go? Let's fucking kill him. Why is this guy even a boss, anyway? Damn it. I have learned why this man is a boss! I have learned today! I understand. I apologize, and I will reconsider my transgressions. <laughs> 